Apple Music was recently integrated with DJ Pro, and that is just one music source on a long list of amazing music sources in this great app. So in this video, I am going to show you guys all the available music sources, their benefits, and their limitations. To access your music sources, we are going to press, press these blinking music selector buttons on the top right or top left. To get to our list of available music sources, there is a hidden drop down menu to the left of this screen right here. So we're gonna open this hidden drop down menu and these are all of the available sources. My collections, this might be a little confusing. This is your playlist. You can make playlists, playlist folders in my collection. Apple Music, this is brand new. And with Apple Music, you could stream millions and millions of songs. Most people already have Apple Music or there is a pretty good free trial. So you can load up songs directly from Apple Music, directly from their top charts. You cannot load music videos with this. You can with Tidal, I'll get to that after. And then the one other thing is you cannot use the amazing neural mix feature with Apple Music or with Tidal. So you're gonna have to use music on your device or if you join a music or DJ record pool or something like that, you could use Neuromix. It just can't be with streaming music. And then also with these streaming services, all of the streaming services, including Apple Music, you cannot record while you have a song loaded from streaming service. This is not the app's fault. This is a licensing copyright kind of law type thing. And that's just the way it is for now. Maybe it'll change, probably not. All right, so Apple Music, this is currently my favorite streaming service that you could use with this app, but let's go down. The next is DJ Music. I'm not gonna spend too much time on this. This is songs they give you for free that you could test out the app and start DJing right away. And there is a pretty good, pretty good selection. There's all these different genres. So if you're just starting out and don't wanna join a streaming service or download music, then you can start DJing right away with all of these great songs that the app gives you. I think it's awesome. Next is Tidal. Tidal is pretty much the same as Apple Music. The only difference is you can DJ with music videos, which is amazing. It's this, the coolest thing ever. You could go to video section here, search pretty much any popular song, and then you will see a whole list of videos. And when you load it up, you can load it into video mode, connect your iPad to a TV and projector. I made a lot of videos teaching you guys how to do that. And then now, now you can DJ not only with music, but with music videos, you could do your mixes with the music videos. And if you're a mobile DJ, you could even charge more for providing video mixing services. And I think it's awesome and the future of DJing and Tidal is the only streaming service that you can DJ, load up music videos. And again, you cannot use Nero Mix, you cannot use, you cannot record. That is with the streaming, but that is with all of the streaming services. So that is Tidal. Next is SoundCloud, Beatport, and BeatSource. These are going to be very similar to Apple Music. Pretty much any song you could think of, you could, you could load up, start DJing right away. And then with Beatport and BeatSource, same type of thing. I don't want to spend too much time on it because it's basically the same. It's whichever streaming service you're more comfortable with or whichever one you already have a subscription with. And most people already had Apple Music. That's why it was such a big deal. But streaming services are an amazing feature of this app, but they are not the only music sources that we have. We got videos. So you can load up you can load up videos from your camera roll and then you can play them the same way you would with music videos. So you could download videos, you could make your own videos, you could record videos on your phone. You could even record if you're doing like a wedding or a Sweet 16, record maybe the cut of the cake or something like that and play it on the screen. There's a lot of really creative things that you could do with these with this video section. I'm not gonna open it because I don't know what's on my camera roll. <laughs> But anyway, and then local music. This one used to be pretty confusing because you were able to, because the Apple Music symbol, it was pretty much the same symbol as this, but that was your local music and it just said music. So now local music is your actual local music. If you download stuff from iTunes, if you download it from a record pool, anything saved on your actual device is going to be here in this local music and you can separate it by songs library and match and then we have files so you could transfer files in you can download files it makes 
makes the I DJing with the iPad and the phone similar to DJing with the laptop. You have access to your files and you could load up songs that way if you're more comfortable doing it like that. Load up a song, start playing it right away. And with these local songs or with songs from your files, you can use Neuromix and it doesn't give you any restrictions. And you could also record while you are using this service. And if you, you could also record while you're using music from this source. And if you guys want to learn more about how to record in this amazing app, check out this video over here.